Hi and welcome back to another Tonic Craft Kit. This is number 19 and uh, as always let's take a quick look on what's included in the kit and then I will share three cards. So first of all you get uh, a new tape runner. This is a Nuvo tape runner and this is a new product to me. I never used it before and I'm trying to separate them just to make sure that uh, it is refillable, which seems that it is. So I'm going to put that to side and I will use it on my cards today. Now, one thing more that you get in terms of uh, adhesive is this uh, glue pen. Uh, this has a little plastic ball at the end of the tip that you need to remove and discard. It is a ball pen, so whenever you press the ball, it will release some glue. Now, you can uh, do very detailed work with this glue, and I'm going to show you here that it comes out white, but as it dries, it's going to uh, turn into being completely dry. And of course, you can write down anything you like. So you have a glue pen for all those tiny little areas where you need to add glue, and I will show you later on once this sample is dry what more you can do with that glue now you also may get a glitter marker the color is urban graphite and if you are a subscriber of uh, tonic craft kits you already are familiar with this type of uh, markers they are really shiny and of course remember that you need to prep the marker only once the first time that you get it and hopefully you can see how shiny and glittery this is You will also get a Nouveau notebook in grey color. These are really handy and we already had one in a previous kit that was orange. My daughter loved that and I'm sure that she will want to have this one as well. You will also get a small bottle of uh, Nouveau Dream Drop. The color is supernova and it matches perfectly the papers and the cardstock that you will see later on. And as you can see it goes nicely both on white and on black cardstock. You will also get a mini gem pot. This is really precious. You will get those beautiful gems in uh, three different sizes in this lovely color. Now let's take a look at the envelope that comes with the dies and uh, the stamps. As always you will get a sticker that I always like to stick on at the front. And now let's take a look at the stamps first. They are exclusive to this kit. There are 12 stamps and all of them are about uh, sentiments. So it is quite versatile and you can combine them with the dies as well. And you do get uh, die cut sentiments as well, such as dream, with love, hello, believe, that you can combine with the stamps. And for all those dies, there is also an outline that cuts out a border. And in this uh, die set, there are also borders that cut out around the stamp sentiments as well, just like this one. There are 20 dies in the set and 12 stamps and I believe that this is one of those sets that you will be reaching out for again and again since it uh, comes with so many sentiments that are really versatile for pretty much any occasion. In the kit you will also find a 6x6 pad. This is a heavy cardstock. It's um, 250 GSM and uh, there are 4 designs, 6 papers for each design so you will get plenty of them some of them are mirror cardstock some of them are satin like this gorgeous one in total you will get uh, 24 pages in all those pretty designs which i think that they are really elegant and uh, that's exactly what i will be creating today four elegant cards and finally, cardstock, you will get five pages. Some of them are pearlescent, some of them are really specialty papers that you can cut and embellish your cards with. Look how gorgeous this one is with the roses. Before I make my card, let's go back to this glue. This is uh, the sample I made with the glue pen. Now it is dry and you can tell since it is uh, transparent, I can place on top a foil and uh, you will see that it works perfectly with foiling just because when this glue dries it stays sticky so keep that in mind about this glue pen it's not just for sticking papers together you can do beautiful embellishments on your projects now i will create three cards today all clean and simple and very easy to recreate 
I just want to show you different ways on how you can use the dies and since they are so gorgeous and intricate designs, you don't really need to do a lot on top of these cards, they will look stunning just by die cutting this gorgeous paper. So here I used the die that says with love and I'm going for a simple window card here, I'm just going to add foam tape at the back to raise it a little bit from the card base. And I'm going to finish off my card by sticking down some of the gems included in the kit. For that I used my Nouveau Deluxe glue and uh, my card is finished. I think it's really elegant, perfect for pretty much any occasion. It's a really lovely card that you can make in no time. Now here's another way on how you can use those dies. For this time I'm going to use both the, um, the outline as well as the intricate design. So this is going to produce this beautiful die cut of the word dream. Now I'm going to use a piece of this uh, glitter cardstock and uh, this time I'm going to cut out only the outline of the word dream. So now I can stick those two pieces together and I end up having a lovely embellishment for the top of my card and you can do that with the rest of the sentiments included in this die set. And I'm using my handy glue pen from the kit, it's perfect for all those little details at the back and I can stick those two pieces together. I also cut out this shape one more time so that I can stick it at the back and this way my embellishment is going to be nice and thick and it's going to look as if it is chipboard. Now again I'm going for a very clean and simple design but I find that clean and simple is perfect for pretty much any occasion plus it makes everything look so elegant. Now for sticking those uh, pieces together I'm going to use foam tape at the bottom just behind the word dream while at the top I'm just going to use my tape runner and I'm going to stick those one on top of the other and you can see that I have some dimension at the bottom where the sentiment is. And to finish off my card I'm going to add some of those gems which I absolutely love. I'm using five of them because I find that they fit nicely there. I am sticking everything in a row but each and every gem is rotated so it creates a lovely pattern. Now in the stamp set there is a sentiment that says follow your which you can of course combine with this die cut that says dream but for this card I decided not to use it. For the last card I die cut the word hello on this panel, this is one of the cardstock included in the kit and uh, I'm also going to stamp underneath one of the sentiments that says beautiful. So my whole sentiment is going to read hello beautiful. For that I'm going to use my stamping platform and I'm going to emboss the sentiment with um, white embossing powder. And as always you will find a list of all the supplies that I'm using here down below in the description area as well as on my blog with links to online shops where you can get them. Hopefully you can see how pretty this uh, cardstock is, it's really shiny. So now I'm going to use my heat gun to melt the embossing powder and heat set it. And here is my beautiful panel. Now in the die set uh, there is also the outline for the word hello. So I'm going to stick one inside the other and I'm going to run them through my die cutting machine. And here is the outcome. Again it's a lovely embellishment that you can use as it is on top of your cards. However I'm going to stick it on top of the other die cut. This way it's going to help the hello stand even more against the background and again for sticking those pieces together I'm going to use my glue pen at the back. I am going for a shaker card this time so I'm going to turn it at the back, I'm going to add some tape adhesive all around the die cut and then stick on top some uh, acetate. I also used foam tape to create a little pocket all around that uh, hello die cut and um, I'm also going to use a Nouveau product, this is called Hot Pink Stars, they are really gorgeous and I'm placing them on top of my card base 
about where that window is going to fall. So I'm going to turn it around and stick it down, making sure that everything is inside that pocket that I created with the foam tape. I'm going to press the adhesive nicely down and my card is ready and really sparkly. Again, this is a clean and simple looking card, but it has that wow factor with all those stars inside the word hello. So here are all the three cards that I made for today using products from the kit number 19 by Tonic Studios. Thank you all so much for watching today. You will find everything you need linked down below. Have a lovely weekend and I'll see you all next week.